time to stop and have a good time I'ma be up in here having some god time And you're good and the genuine Like illumination, illumination You light up my life like you lit up creation Won't let me drown, you're my flotation Won't let me thirst, cause you're my hydration So I'ma do a dance in your arms This love is gonna last in your arms You're everything to me, everything I need Everything I wanna be, JC Got me like, oh
making new friends here with Jesus. We're connected. Do you know why I love worshiping God through singing and dancing? Because this is our chance to show the world how awesome He is. He made us, He loves us, He's given us everything we need, He listens to us sing, and He watches us dance for Him. I can't think of any better reason to worship God with everything I've got. So get up on your feet and let's connect to God together.
Valentine's Day cards, Dot? <laughs> Definitely not. I am not a fan of this lovey-dovey holiday. So I'm making friendship cards for everyone here at Connect HQ. Hmm. What's your favorite color? Yellow. I'll keep that in mind. Would you mind helping me with this postcard? Sure thing. What does it say? It says, Dear Connect HQ, an older kid at school has started making fun of me and calling me names. Aw, poor kid. <laughs> oh, just you wait until you hear the rest. I make fun of kids all the time, but it's not so much fun when it's happening to me. What should I do? From Spencer. What? Is everything okay? I know exactly who sent that postcard. Let me fill you in on the details. This one says, be mine. Check it. This one says, kissy face. Nope, put it in the trash can. Oh, are you guys throwing away perfectly good candy? We're going through this pile of Valentine candy, getting rid of the corny, cheesy, romantic ones. Why? You wouldn't want to give one to someone and have them get the wrong idea. They should make a bag full of hearts that say things like, be real or relax. Hmm. Well, these seem pretty safe. This one says, we are friends. Chill out. And this one says, cool shirt, bro. That's my favorite one. This one says, cutie patootie. Get rid of it. Ah, 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 ah. Mine. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Harper, and this is the time a bully came to Connect HQ. Hey, Harper. What is it that you want to show me? We've had so many walk-ins lately asking us about how to put love into action, so I gathered all our research and gave it to the Skip Vision group. This is what they gave us to share. All right, let's check it out. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. Is alive. Loving others and treating others right matters a lot to God. But to do that, it helps to remember some important things. First, be sure to love other people. I mean, really love them from your heart. No pretending. Run for dear life from evil. Hold on with all your might to do what is good. Be good friends who love deeply. Practice putting others first until you're the very best at it. When you're serving Jesus, don't be lazy. Be enthusiastic and cheerful. <laughs> Serve him with a glad heart. When other followers of Jesus need something, be ready to help them out. And if anyone needs a place to stay or something to eat, offer them yours. When things get hard, don't give up. Keep going and pray even harder. Laugh with them when they're happy <laughs> and cry with them when they're sad. Be friends with everybody. Don't be a snob and only hang out with the cool crowd. Be everybody's friend. And whatever you do, don't be the guy who thinks he knows everything or who always has to be the center of attention. Be nice and say kind things to everyone, even the people who are mean to you, even the people who go out of their way to make sure you have a very bad day. Be nice to them and don't grumble about them under your breath. 
Get along with everyone as much as you can, even though it's hard sometimes. And if someone does something that makes you mad, move on. Don't try to get back at them. God will sort all of that out, and He will take care of it. Instead, be someone others can count on to do the right thing, no matter what. So if you see your enemy and he's hungry, go get him some lunch. Or if he's thirsty, give him something to drink. When you do that, you'll surprise him a lot. And who knows, it might even make him feel bad, sort of like heaping hot coals on his head. And then maybe he will want to be different. Finally, whatever you do, don't let evil get the best of you. Instead, overcome evil with good. With a video like this, we can show the world that we can love everyone, no matter what. Even people who are mean. Even people who are mean, no matter what. Oh. Hi. Sorry, uh, I didn't mean to interrupt, but uh, is this where we come to get help with our problems? You bet. Uh, I'm Mike, and Connect HQ is here to help you. Even uh, math homework problems? Well, we don't normally handle that sort of thing, but I'll see what we can do. Wow, uh, thanks a lot, sir. Oh, no need to be so formal. Just call me Mike. I'm Spencer. Ooh, nice handshake, very firm. Well done. <laughs> well, Mr. Mike, this math homework really has me stumped, but uh, you seem really smart. <laughs> I hear that a lot. Well, let's take a look at it. Hmm, yep, it's math. Pretty difficult too, but we'll see if we can find you the determination to get it done. Sweet, I, uh, I love to find the answers. Looks like I came to the right place. <laughs> oh, hey Dot, this is Spencer. Hi there. Um, Mike, can I talk to you for a moment? Alone? Oh. Sure, make yourself at home. Mike, remember the walk-in who came to HQ because the guy at school wouldn't stop pulling her hair? Yeah, she was pretty upset. And remember the kid who wrote us about being called names by an older kid in his neighborhood? Yeah, that was no fun. And remember that kid who was afraid to say anything about the kid who kept pushing around at school? Yeah, I remember all these situations involving bullies. What's up? I did some research. It wasn't several different bullies. It was one bully, a kid named Spencer. Bad Spencer. Ah, no way. I'm telling you. Well, if it is him, he's changed. He's very polite, firm handshake. Maybe you're right, but... <sighs> mean or not, he needs our help. We have to be careful. Give him a chance. Love everyone because God loves you, not just the ones that are easy to like, everyone. I can try. He has a problem that needs our help. So try seeing if some hospitality will help. Ask him if he wants a snack. Okay, I think I can do that. Spencer, would you like to follow me? And this is the lounge. Do y'all have a pool table? Not yet, but I was talking about it with my friend Harper and she said that- You have friends? Yeah. I'm surprised. Why? Why? Because you're so short. What does that have to do with friends? Well, I can never be friends with someone that short. What are you, like two feet, two and a half? Steady Dot, love everyone because God loves you. Speak up, Shorty. I can't hear you all the way down there. That's not nice. What are you going to do about it? <sighs> That's what I thought, tiny. Now where's my snack? You know what? I've got the perfect snack for you. I'll be right back. Move as fast as those little legs can carry you. I don't want to wait long. Hey, Harper. Uh, does this smell funny to you? Ugh, that smells horrible. Hmm, maybe if I squirt some lemon juice on it. What is wrong with that cupcake? It's not icing, it's expired sour cream. I've got a bully in the lounge downstairs and I'm going to make him eat it. You can't do that. I know, he won't eat it if it smells weird. It has to smell like a normal cupcake. No, I mean, if you get revenge, then you're just as bad as he is. <sighs> 
Harper, I tried to be nice to him. I really did. But he was just so, so mean. I know how it feels. There was a girl that used to ride the bus with me, and she teased me every day. She was pretty hard to love. What did you do? Well, I memorized a verse from the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 44, the one that talks about praying for our enemies. I don't know that verse. Well, I can teach it to you, but first, throw away that nasty cupcake. So long, throw up cake. Where's that girl with my snack? Don't mind if I do. Now, say it with me like this. Matthew 5.44. Matthew 5.44. Love your enemies. Love your enemies. Pray for those who hurt you. Pray for those who hurt you. Instead of planning revenge, God wants us to pray for the bullies in our lives. So, I can pray things like, God, please break the toys of all of my enemies and guide them into endless trampoline accidents. No, it means more like praying good things for them and asking God how to love everyone. Still, it would have been nice to see his face when he ate that cupcake. That'll teach him to say mean things about my height. He said things about your height? No one talks to my friend like that. We need to find an adult. I can't. Mike is convinced that kid is a saint. Well, loving and forgiving doesn't mean ignoring a bully. We'll talk to Mike together. You're a good friend, Harper. Well, this kid is lucky I know the right thing to do. Otherwise, I'd knock the lights out of him for calling you short. Now let's pray for this kid before I say something I regret. Boy, I sure hope it's all right that I ate this apple. <laughs> Dot abandoned me a while ago, so I... Just helped myself. Oh yeah, uh, I said make yourself at home and sorry about Dot. She can be a little uh, dizzy. <laughs> dizzy, <laughs> you said it, not me. How's that math homework coming along? Well, I think I found some links that will give you the endurance you need to find the right answers on your homework. Uh, sorry, uh, links? Yeah, the Bible has a lot to say about perseverance when a hard task is in front of us. And I found a great Bible story and some verses that state that- What did you do? My math homework. Uh, that's not really what we do here. It sounds like Dot isn't the only dizzy one around here. Excuse me? Look here, I came here for answers for my math homework, dude. And instead you're giving me verses? How is that helpful? Verses won't get me an A. If I do your homework, that's cheating. Nobody will know. I'll put my name on the paper. Besides, I'm good at fooling adults into thinking that I'm a good kid. Why are you telling me this? I'm an adult that thinks you're a good kid. Fine. If you won't do it for me, then I'll have somebody else do it. There's always someone gullible enough. Thanks for nothing, chump. Spencer, before you leave, at least let me pray with you and... God, please help Spencer find the help he needs. Lead him straight to your love and your guidance and help me love absolutely everyone. Amen. Well, he's not in the cabinet. We should call Luke. We've got a bully on the loose and connect HQ. I wonder where he went. <sighs> Probably wandering the halls, making fun of the guys downstairs. Let's keep looking. Mike, I think I lost our walk-in. Who, Spencer? Nah, he left a while ago. Um, there's something I need to tell you. It's okay, he'll listen. I tried with Spencer, I really did. But he said some pretty hurtful things. It made me feel really bad. He made fun of her height. What? It's not your fault that you're short. You have nothing to do with that. I 
Listen, Dot, I'm so sorry that I didn't listen to you before. <sighs> Loving everyone doesn't mean ignoring bullying. And he said some bad things to me, too. And I tried to pray with him, but he just left. Mike, why are kids so mean? I don't know. Maybe they are bullied at home, or maybe they are just, that's the way they think they're gonna get attention, or maybe they just like being mean, or maybe they don't know what it's like to have good friends like you, Dot, or you, Harper. Harper reminded me that when someone's being mean to us, that's a chance for us to be kind to them. That's good advice. That's love in action, no matter what. No matter what. Will you help me make a connection transmission for the archives? I would love to. Hi, my name is Dot. And I'm Harper. We're part of Connect HQ. The Bible tells us this in the book of Matthew. Say it with us like this. Matthew 5.44 Love your enemies. Pray for those who hurt you. When someone is being rude or says hurtful things, or you just don't get along, pray for them. Instead of being mean back, ask God to help you love them. No matter what, we should show love to everyone, including people who are mean. When we do that, we are living God's way and fighting against evil. And sometimes people who are mean to you might even start being kind back. God expects us to love and forgive everyone because God loves and forgives us. If someone calls you names or does something to hurt you, pray for them. But also, tell an adult if someone is bullying you. It's not your fault you're being bullied. Seriously, even if you think they won't listen, tell an adult. If another kid is hurting you or hurting others, it's important to stand up for what's right and get help. Love everyone because God loves you. Be a friend to everyone, no matter what. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Spencer really didn't make life easy for you, did he? No, he did not. Are we going to help him? Yes. We're supposed to love everyone, even our enemies. And that means helping them when they need it. So, what are we going to do to help Spencer? The transmission Harper and I made is still in the archives. I think the verse link, point link, and Bible link we found are exactly what Spencer needs to hear. Do you really think he's gonna listen to what you have to say? I have no idea, but I think this is the best way I can help him. So I need to do it. I'll help you send the transmission. Thanks, Jaden. This is a pretty sharp friendship card if I don't say so myself. I think Jaden is going to love it. Valentine's Day, who needs it? Sometimes it's hard to remember to love and pray for our enemies, but Jesus gave us the perfect example of how to love everyone around us. If you want to make the choice to follow Jesus, you can do that right now. All you have to remember are the ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you are forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you made that choice today, be sure to talk about it with a parent or a leader you trust.
when I'm falling.